anyway. So is it, is that anybody else having Schoology problems? Everybody else is okay. David's the only one. Everybody else, thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So tonight, <clears throat> what are we going to talk about? Let me put my uh, my headphones back on. I feel naked without my headphones. Uh -huh. Let me see here. <clears throat> I can hear you all well. Okay. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay. And I can hear you. So everything is good. Yes. All right. So, like I said, tonight we're going to practice our our contrasts and our our uh, cause and effect. We're going to practice them both. But first I want to review and make sure we remember what they all are. So, uh, and by the way, hello everybody. Hello. Um, I see hello. I, I, more people came in while we were practicing our verbs and I didn't say hello and that was not polite. All right. <laughs> Let, let's see. Uh, Galaxy S9, who, who is Galaxy S9? Is that uh, Guadalupe? Uh, mm. I don't know. Oh, okay, wait a minute. What I have a, I have a new phone, it's Samsung. Okay, all right. Got, oh yeah, that's that's you, Guadalupe. Okay, I'm gonna okay. give you a name. I'm gonna give you a name. Okay. okay. Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Okay. Okay, so I get two Guadalupes for one here. Thank you, teacher. I'm sorry okay. about that. No problem. Okay. All right, so. Let me go and take a look and we're going to try to combine what we were talking about way at the beginning of class. Remember in chapter, in chapter eight, I think it was, or maybe chapter nine, we had so and since, and we talked about all of the cause and effect. Now, last night we had all of the contrast. So let's put them together and see if we can make a little chart. Okay, so I'm going to share something with you here. If I can, uh, there we go. Okay, can everybody see the chart? Not yet. Coming soon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you, you see it? Yes. Yeah. yes. So remember, we have four different kinds of connections, and we have cause and effect here in green, and contrast over here in red. Okay, cause and effect was what we talked about at the beginning of the class, where we have something happen, and then I, a, a cause and an effect. So remember our clause connectors? Well, well actually, let, let, me, let me do it this way. I have all of my connectors here in my little magical hat. All right, I'm gonna pull one out, and you tell me what it is and where it goes, okay? All right, the first word I have here is however. Is however cause and effect or contrast? However. Contrast. Contrast, contrast right. Contrast. That's what we were talking about last night, however. All right, and, and what kind of word is it? Clause connector, preposition, conjunction, transition. Connector. Connector, class connector. No. Keep going. Trans transition. Transition, right. Remember, the transitions are the ones that are always at the beginning of the sentence and used with a capital letter and then a comma, right? However. So, for example, it was raining. However, I went outside. It was raining, period. However, I went outside. I went outside. Okay. All right. What about the word so? That cause and effect or contrast? Cause and effect. Cause, cause and effect, effect. sure. Cause and effect. And which one of these four is it? Conjunction. Conjunction, conjunction right. Conjunction. So is a conjunction for cause conjunction. and effect. Okay. So. 
All right. Okay. What about the word we talked about last night? Despite. Despite. Preposition. It's a preposition. Is it cause, ca cause and effect or contrast? Despite. Uh, it's contra. 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 Right. contrast. The contrast. Despite. That's right. Despite. All right. What about since? Cause and effect. Cause and effect. And what kind the of word? Class, con class connector. Clause connector, exactly. Put that there. Good. What about the word therefore? therefore. Transition? Transition, right. Cause and effect or contrast? Contrast. contrast. Therefore, is contrast? Therefore. Oh, no. Cause, cause and effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect right. Cause. Like that. Therefore. Therefore. Okay. All right. Mix, 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 mix. What about because of? Because of. Because of. Preposition? Preposition, right. Because of, I'm going to send everybody one of these uh, <laughs> files here, so you'll get you'll get this for your notes when we're finished. Because of, right? Because of. Mm -hmm. Despite sense. All right. What about the word but? But. Preposition two. Preposition. Tom Johnson. Conjunction, right? Conjunction. Okay. All right. What about the word because? Because. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. But what? Which one of these four? Clause connector. Clause connector. That's yeah. right. Okay, good. What about the word consequently? Consequently. Cause and effect. Cause and effect, right? And which which square should I put it in? Transition. Transition, right. Remember those longer words are called transitions. Consequently. Transition. Okay. All right. What about although? Mm. Although. Contrast. A contrast. Mm -hmm. It's a contrast. And what kind of contrast is it? Preposition. A preposition? No, it's class connector. Clause connector, that's right. Because oh. we need a subject and a verb with although. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Even though, even though. Contrast. Contrast. Clause connector. Clause connector of contrast, right? Goes over here. What about due to? Preposition. 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 Which kind of preposition? Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Okay. That's right. Two. What about nevertheless? Contrast. Contrast, and what kind Trans of word is it? Transition. Transition, Transition. that's right. And the last word I'm in my bag is in spite of. Contrast. Contrast, Contrast preposition, of. that's right. Okay, good. Let me make those a little bit bigger here. There we go. There, 
there's a nice chart for us, right? Yes. That looks good. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, good. All right, good. Let me save this and then I'm going to send it to you after the class. Okay. All right. No problems there? No. All right. We're going to come back. To, we're going to come back to this in a little bit. But tonight we're going to start with a focus on, on these two. This one, although, and this one, because. We're going to focus on those two. Because and although. Right? So, we're going to take a look here at our book and look at those two for just a second. And then we're going to make some more sentences after that together. Okay, let me see. Donde esta? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. This is in your book on page 74. 74, right? right? Notice what it says here with the grammar focus. 74 in your purple book. Purple book, 74. Contrasting because and although. It says, use because to join two clauses which give reason, one gives a reason for the other. Use although to give two clauses that give the contrast with each other. One is a surprising or unexpected result. So example, because the internet is fast, many people want many it. Many people want, want it. Although cable internet is fast, many people cannot afford it. Cannot afford it. Okay. Right? So for example, because it was cold, I stayed home. Although it was cold, I went to the park. Right? It's just an opposite. They're just opposites because and although are opposites. So we have a story here between two sisters, right? This sister, Pam, she loves the modern things. And this other sister, Beth, she likes the traditional things. Pam is modern, Beth is traditional. So we're gonna compare these two sisters with the two words because and although. So let's see if we can, can make some sentences here. It says here, although Pat, Pam and Beth are sisters, they are very different. All right, Pam is very modern. What does it say here? She loves electrical appliances. Hmm. Because, because, because they are they fast, are fast and convenient. convenient. Exactly. We have a cause and effect, right? She loves electrical appliances because they are fast and convenient. Okay. For example, she loves her microwave. Mm -hmm. Because, because she, she wants can, she, she can, can use, use it, it to thaw her meat quickly. quickly. Does everybody know that word thaw? Thaw? Yeah. Oh so. T-H-A-W, thaw. Sometimes oh. pe people say the word defrost. Have you heard that mm. word before? Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Same, same thing, defrost, mm. thaw. When something is frozen and you don't want it to be frozen anymore. Okay. Right? Mm. You thaw it. Okay, good. All right, now, number four. Now, if you already have the answer on your paper, give, give somebody else a chance to answer, okay? Because if, some of you I know have done this exercise before. So, so give, give everybody a chance here. Let's see. It says, she enjoys shopping for the latest kitchen devices. Hmm. Some of them are very expensive. Although? Although, although they are very expensive, right? because it's a fact and a surprise. Beth has a different attitude about technology. 
What's Beth's attitude? Well, what does it say here? It says she prefers not to use electrical appliances. For instance, does everybody know this, this expression, for instance? Um, like have you, have you heard before, else. for instance? No. No. For instance is the same as for example. Oh. Same thing. For instance, for example. So, for example, she never uses a microwave because, mm -hmm. because she thinks radiation she thinks is bad. Because she thinks radiation is bad. Mm -hmm. She dries her clothes on the store, uh, the clothes outside. Mm -hmm. Because? Because? She likes the after. after. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Right. All right. She washes her dishes by hand because she because she says dishwashers waste energy. Energy, waste energy. Pam doesn't understand why Beth is so old-fashioned. So old-fashioned. But, but although they have different lifestyles, they appreciate one another. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad, right? Mm -mm. All right. Good. So I'm going to stop the share for a second, and then we're going to practice a little bit. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Let me get out my special hat here, <laughs> and we're going to make some sentences. Some will be contrast. Some will be cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's take these. Let's take these two things. The cell phone had a very high price. Was expensive. The cell phone was expensive, and either I bought it or I didn't buy it. Okay. So if it's a if it's cause and effect, what would I say? Uh, for example, if you said use because, right? What would you say? Because the cell because phone, phone was expensive. Was expensive. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. Didn't and buy it. if it was even though, what would we say? Even, even though, though the phone was expensive, I buy it. Even though the phone was I expensive. Even though the phone was I expensive, bought I bought it. it. Exactly. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you a word, and I want you to make a sentence. Okay. All right, let's start with uh, Ching. Hi. Are you ready, Ching? I try. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I can get you here. How about consequently? Consequently. Consequently. Can you make a sentence with consequently? Uh, no. Remember that the cell phone was expensive, and either I bought it or I didn't buy it. Uh huh. Uh, the cell phone. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody can help him? Consequently, the, the the cell phone is expensive. Consequently, Consequently I I I can buy. I can afford it. I can. Yeah. I can oh. buy it. Right, the cell phone is expensive. Consequently, I can't buy it. Right. I can't buy it. Right, the conse the cell phone is expensive. Cell Consequently, I, I can't buy it. buy it. All right, mm -hmm. Jose Garcia. Yes, teacher. How about therefore? Therefore. Okay, the cell phone is expensive. Was expensive. Therefore. Uh, therefore, uh, mm, did you buy it or not? Uh, I bought it. I bought it. I, I didn't buy it, right? I didn't buy it. Right, the cell phone was expensive, therefore, I didn't buy it. Okay. All right, Isadora. What about. 
Uh, do two. Now, do two is going to require us to make some changes, right? Yes. Because due, due, to, due to the the cell phone was expensive, I didn't buy it. Good, good idea, but can we say do to with with a uh, subject due, and a verb? Due what do to we the need? bad weather. We need a noun. Well, we're not talking about oh. bad weather here. We're talking about the cell phone, right? Oh, okay. the cell phone. So, so due to what? what? What's a noun we could use when we're talking about a cell phone? Expensive. Use, Expensive. But the expensive is not due to, due to, the, the, due to the, price? the price. There the you price? go. There price. you go. Very good. The, due to the, the high price? price of the cell phone. The high price of the cell phone. I didn't buy it. Perfect. Perfect. You got it. Right? She used a noun. Price. Okay. All right. David. What about but? But, but, okay. Uh, the cell, the cell phone is expensive, but I uh, still buy it. Yeah, exactly. The cell phone was expensive, but I still bought it. Right? It was expensive, but I bought it anyway. All right, Claudia. So, what about yeah. so? Um, the cell phone was expensive, so I didn't buy it. Perfect. Uh, Julio, are you there, Julio? Yes. What about because? Uh, because the cell phone was expensive, I didn't buy it. Perfect. Uh, Edith, what about despite? I. Despite. Despite, you're going to have to do the same thing Isadora did. Right. Because it's a preposition. So, de, de, remember what Isadora did? Uh, uh, despite the price? Exactly. Uh, the price. The, um, the, the cell phone is expensive despite. Oh. No. In despite of the price. Oh, the price. So, despite the high price of the it's cell phone. Oh, despite of the high price, the high price of the cell phone, I, I can buy, I can buy it. You, can well, buy it's, it. this one is despite though, so it's a contrast, right? So, mm -hmm. despite the high price, I didn't, I didn't buy it. You didn't buy it, or I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. Right? I bought it. Yeah, so despite oh, the high this. price of the cell phone, I bought it anyway. Oh, this time. Right, remember, despite is when you do something unexpected. Mm. Right? right, usually you wouldn't buy a high price phone, right? But you say, well, despite the high price, I bought the phone anyway. So despite the high price, despite the high price, I bought the phone oh, anyway. I, I bought the phone. Yeah, despite the high price, I bought the phone. All right, Guadalupe. Since. Since. The cellular phone are expensive. I didn't buy it. Since the cellular phone was expensive, I didn't buy it. Right. Good. Rodriguez. Because of. Because of. The phone was expensive. I didn't buy. Uh, but remember, because of is we're gonna have to do the same strategy that Edith and Isadora did. We're gonna have to say high price. Despite the high price the cell phone, I didn't buy. Exactly because of the high price of the cell phone, I didn't buy it. Okay. Uh, Noel, yeah. what about although? <clears throat> although the, the cell phone is expensive, expensive I bought it. Uh, although the cell phone was expensive, I bought it. Good. All right. What about however, Leonardo? Are you there, Leonardo? Leonardo yes. Gomez, yes. Yes, 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 I'm here. However, can you however. make a sentence with however? 
Okay, the cheap phone is was expensive. Uh, however, uh, however, I bought. I, I bought. However, I bought it anyway, right? However, yeah. I bought it anyway. I bought it. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's see. I got three more left here. Anybody can do it. What about even though? Even though. Uh, even though the high price of cell phone, I bought it. Even though we want a subject and a verb, right? So even though. Even though the high price. But even though the cell phone, the phone was phone expensive, was, right? Yes. Even, okay. though the, the even though the was cell expensive. phone was expensive, I, I bought it. I bought it, right. I what about it. nevertheless? The cell phone is expensive. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, nevertheless. I, I borrowed it. Nevertheless, I bought it, right. The cell phone is expensive. Nevertheless, nevertheless, nevertheless. I bought it. Uh, oh, shoot. All right. Okay. And, in spite of is the last one. <laughs> in and spite even of preposition contrast. In spite of the high price. In spite of the high price. Of the cell phone, I bought it. In spite of the high price of the cell phone, I bought it. I didn't buy. I didn't buy it. Right. I, in, spite I this, it. in spite of the high price of the cell phone, I I bought it. I bought it. Right. Something All right. In spite of the I high price it. of the cell phone, I bought it. I bought it. Good. All right. Good. Okay. Now, I want to practice the same idea a little bit more, but in smaller groups. I have a question. Does everybody now have? have these words where you can see them? Yes? Mm. Does everybody have these words to no, written no, down somewhere? Yes. No, yes. teacher, give me one one second. Okay, I'll take a photo or something? Yes, yes. Photo, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, I got it. give me just a second. Hello, okay. I'll, I'll send it to your phone right now. Um, you gonna send it to it. the phone? Everybody write. Everybody write. Hold on one second. Teacher. All right. Teacher, I need to make a call. I'll be back, okay? Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, let me see here. find it does everybody have it written down though yes yeah. yes okay yes. all right so yes. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that then uh, okay so here's what we're gonna do okay all right so what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you into some small rooms and we're gonna practice with some partners all right so let's see there we go I'm gonna put you into three rooms. There'll be three or four people in each room. What I want you to do is go around in a circle and make up one, one sentence for each word. So you're gonna to make totally 14 sentences, right? So you'll each get to make about three or four sentences. And so just take, say, so you say, okay, my word is however. Mm, I was sick, however I went to school. 
Okay, okay, my word is so. Um, I was hungry, so I ate a sandwich, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody got the idea? You're gonna take one, you're gonna take one word and try to make one sentence with every one of the words. You don't need to write them down, that's okay, it's not necessary. But I want you to talk to each other and make sure you agree on how to use these words, okay? Okay. Okay, everybody got the idea? So your job in the next, but so. maybe 10 <laughs> minutes, maybe next 10 minutes, is to try to make one sentence with each connector of your okay. own imagination, right? Thanks. You're gonna use your own ideas. Remember, for a cause and effect, you have something happen and a result, right? I was okay. sick, so I stayed home, for example. And the contrast is gonna be a fact, and a surprise. The fact, I was sick. The surprise, I went to work anyway. Okay, everybody got the idea? Yes. Maybe, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna put you in your little rooms for about 10 minutes, okay? I'm gonna okay. come and check in, in on you, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. All right, here we go, there you go. Goodbye, everybody. All right. How do you use a clause connector? Clause where, connector. Where, what, what position do you put the clause connector? In, in the, the beginning. In the beginning. Or in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Right. Right. In the beginning or the middle. Or Both the middle. are fine. Yeah. All right. And if you put it in the beginning, what kind of punctuation? Uh, capital letter. Capital letter no. and? Capital letter and? Comma. 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 And if, comma. If, if the clause is in the middle, um, no, no capital comma. letter, no, capital no letter. comma, com right? Comma. Okay. okay. Only punctuation. When it's in the middle, no capital letter and no comma. When it's in the first position, capital letter and a comma, right? All right, good. What about a preposition? What's the big difference of a preposition and a clause connector? Uh, the position? Yes. In the, in in the, the preposition, you have to use the noun. Exactly. A preposition, you have to use a noun. No. No. So, so you can say, because of the broken glass, we, we didn't want to walk on the floor, right? Because of the broken glass. Or, in spite of the broken glass, we walked across the floor. Right? So, again, broken glass is a noun. So, we're going to use... Uh, because of, due to. Um, okay, good, that's a preposition. And finally, what about a transition word? How do we use that? Always in the middle. Always in the middle and the always middle. with- after, after the period. Period, or middle. like we said last night, a semicolon would be okay too, right? And after preposition, comma. That's right, that's right. Okay, no problems? Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Let's finish tonight with some. Oh, uh, and and by the way, let me see if I can find it here. Where did I put it? Uh, you see, you see, it gets to the end of the year, and my my life turns out to be a mess. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I have so many papers around here, but I have my old classic here. All right, now let me just remind you what's on the final test. Uh, if you are in level four, you need to be able to make a sentence with, let's see. Uh, level, level four doesn't have any of these on, uh, on level four. What, what? I, th I think because. Level four because. has because, right? Because? Um, yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, level five, you're going to need because, since, and so. Level six, because, since, so, although, and therefore, and however. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everything. Everything, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because... although I will tell you this. Um, despite 
and in spite of are not on the test. So that's the good news. Oh, yeah. Because, although, and what else, teacher? Uh, therefore, so. however, although, because, since, and so. Only the spy and do two no. Since. Okay. In spite of and do two, no? Because. It's spite of do two are not on the test, I don't think. Sons and so. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Anyway, do your best with those. Do your best with them. Okay. All right. We're going to finish up tonight with a little, a little uh, listening and then a little reading. Okay? Sounds fair? So we're going to go back to the book for some listening and then back to the book for some reading, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So let, let me find the book again. Okay. Stop. Mm -hmm. First stop. This chocolate book of the entire book of the book. Wait, the class ended? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, control panel, Saturday class, whiteboard, class, modify. There we go. Okay. Let's go back a little bit to page. Oops, I went one page too far. Page 70. <clears throat> All right. You see page seventy here. Yes. Yep. yes. We're gonna we're gonna hear a radio report where this guy is gonna interview people about their favorite things. For example, Mrs. Rosen, what's her favorite thing? Looks like a stamper, right? Mm. Mr. Chung, he's a little bit of a grumpy guy. He's not very <laughs> happy, right, right Mr. Letters. Chung? He likes to write letters. <coughs> and Mrs. Morales, what she likes she like? to do, she likes shopping. Her shopping. shopping. She likes her cell phone while she's shopping. Okay, so let's okay. listen to the let's listen to the interviews, and then we're gonna we're gonna try to fill out some information, right? All right. All right. We're gonna write about what what device do they talk about, and what is their opinion about it? Right? What is the device, and what is their opinion? Okay, sounds good. All right, so I'm going to turn off the microphones for a second so we can listen, and then we'll see if we can answer the questions afterward. Okay, let me find my button for turning off the microphones. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's listen to this conversation, actually an interview, and see if we can answer the questions. What is, it, what is the device they're talking about, and what is their opinion about the device? Okay, let's listen. Exercises 2A and 2B, part one. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? I'm a reporter for KESL Radio, and today we're asking people for their opinions about technology and time-saving devices. Do you have a minute to answer some questions for me? Sure. May I have your name? Jean Rosen, Mrs. Rosen. Do you have a favorite time-saving device? Let me see. I guess it's this, my address stamper. Oh, I expected something electronic, not manual. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Does it really save you time? Absolutely. It takes about a minute to handwrite a return address. The address stamper just takes seconds, even though it's not electronic. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Rosen. Part two. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a minute? Well, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm a reporter for KESL Radio. I'm asking people for their opinions about how technology helps them save time. Technology? A time saver? I'm afraid you're talking to the wrong man. I'm not a fan of technology. Why is that? Well, take email, for example. Half the time, it's spam. And it's distracting, too. 
It interrupts my work. But isn't it convenient? Not that I can see. If you ask me, most of this electronic stuff wastes more time than it saves. I still write letters by hand, although I have a perfectly good computer at home. I see. Could I get your name before you go? Bono Chung. Thank you for your time, Mr. Chung. Part 3 Good morning, ma'am. I'm a reporter for KESL Radio. Yes? I'm asking people their opinions about technology and time-saving devices. Oh, that sounds interesting. Do you have a favorite time-saving device? Oh, yes. I just love my cell phone. I guess it saves you lots of time because you can use it anywhere. That's right. You see, I go to lots of sales to buy clothes for my daughter. I take pictures with my camera phone of clothes I think she might like. Really? Yeah. Then I send her the pictures while I'm still in the store. She sends me a text message back. It says buy or don't buy. Now that's innovative. Yeah. Not a bad idea, huh? I'm sure our listeners will enjoy hearing about such an unusual use. Happy to share. It really is a time saver, but not a money saver. <laughs> I see what you mean. Oh, I didn't get your name. Patricia Morales. Well, thank you, Miss Morales, for sharing your favorite time-saving device. All righty, there we go. Okay. Now, if you could, everybody do me a favor and unmute your microphones, because I can't do that by myself anymore. Okay. Bye. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right. So did everybody catch all three people? Right? Mrs. Mm -hmm. Rosen was talking about the address stamper. And, and what, it, what was her opinion about it? She why, does, why does she like it? She, because she saves time. She saves time. She says uh, it only takes a second to address Seconds it, to stamp the, uh, to to stamp stamp the, the letter, address, yeah. whereas it would take about a minute to write it. Right? Mm -hmm. Mr. Chung, he was. What was the device he was talking about? Actually, uh, an app, right? He was talking about email, no. right? Yeah. Email. He was talking about email, and what did he say about email? Uh, he wastes out. He wastes time in. Uh, he wastes time and it's distracting. And right? distracting. Yeah, distracting. distracting. Yeah, he said it was a distraction distracting. and it wasted his time, mm -hmm. right? And Miss Morales, what is what was her favorite device? She Ooh. loves her cell phone. She loves that cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. And what does she like to do with the cell phone? Picture. She likes to uh, take a pictures. Of the teacher. And I, he he Wait, likes yes. to send up uh, to the daughter. Right. When she's shopping, she takes pictures and sends to her daughter to see if her daughter likes the, the item. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's see if we can do the vocabulary and then we're gonna do the reading before we go home today. All right, what do we have? Convenient, devices, distracting, electronic, email, innovative, manual, spam, technology, and text message. Now there are a couple words that we may or may not know, but let's double check. Um, device is an another word for like a machine or a tool, right? a device. So a computer is a device, a cell phone is a device, right? And we talk about electronic devices, right? Okay. Um, everybody know this word spam? Mm -hmm. Spam is any kind of email that you don't want. You know, email for a diet pill or email for a mortgage or email some email that you didn't ask for right mm -hmm. my my email is full of it all the time right yeah. <laughs> you say oh you, you can get a good deal on this you can buy this why don't you sign up for that mm -hmm. no thanks mm -hmm. that's called spam and we have the two words here manual and electronic right Manual means what? If something is manual, what does that mean? Like a manual typewriter. You have to do it by hand? You use it by hand, right? We talk about a manual transmission car, right? Right? And electronic? 
<clears throat> Electronic as computer. Right, anything with a little chip in it, right? Yes. So, so for example, uh, in the old days, you, you had a manual radio, right? Where you had to turn the button. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So you that find the right station. Remember the yeah. old radios where you mm -hmm. had to turn, turn yes. the button until the, the little arrow went to the right spot in the old yes. car radio? Mm -hmm. Right, but now most most car radios are electronic, right? Mm -hmm. yes. You don't have to turn a knob to get to the right station. It, mm -hmm. it goes automatically to the right station, right? Radio. It's a electronic radio. All right, good. So, so let's see if we can fit these words into the story. It says here, today a reporter from KESL Radio asked three people about technology and their favorite time-saving Device. Device. No, nobody says Zoom. I guess. <laughs> I guess it's too, too, too new. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Zoom is my favorite device anymore. I, I'm, I'm getting tired. I want to be that's back. In, I want to go to the classroom. Mm -hmm, that's why. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, device time-saving devices. Number two is going to be devices, right? right? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Rosen's favorite device is. Um, she, it, it, phone. Yeah, manual, no, manual is manual, right? Yeah, manual, it's manual mm. right? Remember, she uses it with her hand. Yeah. She yeah. says, she says, oh, I know it's manual, but it doesn't. I don't care. Mm -hmm. She says it saves, saves time, saves time even, even though it, it isn't, isn't. What's the opposite of manual? Electronic. Electronic, right? Right? She says it saves time even though it isn't electronic. And notice that word, even though. <clears throat> even though. Even though. I had to right? copy that. <laughs> All right. Mr. Chung isn't a fan of technology. No, thank you. In <laughs> fact, he says technology <laughs> wastes technology more wastes time more than it time saves. Television. For example, he says that he doesn't like what? What doesn't he like? Email. 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 Because. He gets lots of distracting. But, the, but the word that, that um, you're talking about. That, 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 that word spam, spam right? Spam. He gets lots of spam. Mm -hmm. Right? Unwanted email. That's called spam. Unwanted he email. He also finds email. What what is he how does he find email? Distracting. Distracting, right? He says it doesn't save time at all. It's not convenient. It's distracting. I have to answer all these emails. He doesn't, he doesn't think, think it, it is, is convenient. Convenient, right. He doesn't think it is convenient. Mrs. Morales, on the other hand, she's a techie. She loves technology. <laughs> she uses her camera on her cell phone in a very, what kind of way? Text message. No, oh, in, 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 in innovative very, way. Innovative. In, innovative. innovative. Way. Uh, a new way, innovative right? way to a send. new way. She uses it in a very innovative way. Innovative way. What does she do? To send, to send her, her daughter pictures, pictures of clothes that are on sale. Her, her daughter her sends, sends messages, text messages. Text messages. Message. That's right. Sends a test message back. Buy it or don't message. buy it. Okay. No problem. <laughs> no. All right. Good. Uh, well. <laughs> well, you know, so so. All right, good. Let's go on and jump over and do one more thing. Uh, Seventy-seven. All right, let me see here. Okay, where are we? Back to my book. Uh, I'm sorry, there's a, a student who's texting me because she's having a problem with her, her uh, Schoology. Oh boy, lots of students have problems with that app. Okay. All right. All right, let's see here. Is that in the book? 
It's in the book. It's on page 76. I'm sorry. I should have said something. It's in the book on page 76. Okay. It says the impact of technology, since we're talking about technology tonight. All right. Okay. Let's, read the, let's read this story together and learn about all of these technologies that have changed the way people live. Okay. Changes in Technology by Caitlin Houston. Do I have a volunteer to read the first part for me? Jose, you want to try? Yeah. Sure, sure. Go, go for it. Ch uh, the Impact of Technology. Technology. By Caitlin Houston. Change, change in technology can change people's lives. The development of transportation, trains, cars and planes provide us with one example. Before the 19th century, most people lived within a walking dis distance of work. In the 20th uh, century, many people began to commute between home and work because trains and cars connected cities with suburbs. Today, because of airplanes, many people travel great distance for their work. Some, because of the internet, don't need to travel at all. Okay, so this is the first big difference in technology. What, what was, what's the difference? What, what's the category? Difference in what? Technology. Yeah, but what, what's the first difference? The first big difference is? Uh, the trains. Travel, right? Travel, travel, travel right? Uh -huh. In the old days, we used we used to do trains, and now we have planes and, and planes. cars. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. and and they say as they say because of the internet, some people don't travel at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's look at mm -hmm. the next the next change. Is there any vocabulary in that first one we don't know? I think that we know all those words, yeah. I think nothing too too difficult in that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, but notice, you see, because of here? Mm -hmm. Because of. It says today, because of because airplanes, of remember? Internet. Remember? Of and and yeah, the there it was again, because of the internet. Remember, because of now. Because of now, there's two examples, because of airplanes, because of the internet. Okay, who's gonna read the second part for me? Me. Okay, go for it. Okay. Technological change have also impact the media. For example, how we get the news. Newspa newspaper were once people's primary source for the news. In 1965, 72% of Americans report that they read a newspaper on an average day. By 2005, that number was down to 50%. In the past, a common way people got new ways by listening to the radio. I suppose nearly everyone had a radio then. By the 1950s, the television was overtaking radio. Now even the number of people watching the news on television has declined, dropping for, from 60% in 1993 to 28% in 2006. So, what is the latest source for new news? The web. The number of Americans who use the internet to get the news in, is incre increasing. Most people access the news on their smartphones. All right, very good. So here's number two. So number one was travel, and number two is what? Um, the, uh, the, uh, the media, the, people, the, the, people the media, the, and, the inform media. Uh -huh. and news and information, right? Uh -huh. In the old days, where did we get our news and information? Television. 
They mentioned three three of the old old ways, right? Um, newspaper, radio, 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 television, radio. and uh, newspaper. Newspapers, right? Newspaper. Radio, TV, newspapers. That was it, right? In, in, for many many years until about two thousand, that was all we had, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe, well, maybe, yeah, about 2000, maybe 1995, más o menos, right? When we started to get internet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or yes. maybe, what, 1990, maybe? I don't know. 91, in there, in there somewhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> when we got internet, right? So, so mm -hmm. until 30 years ago, what we only had TV, radio, newspapers. TV, radio, newspapers. Now, what do we have? The internet, right? Mm -hmm. Most people get their news online. Most people get their news online, oh, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. On their smartphone or on their computer. Okay, good. Okay, let's see. Do I have another volunteer reader? May I try? Sure. Start Thank with you. down here at the bottom. Media has also changed. Media has also changed. The way people get jobs, people used to look for jobs opening in the classified ads of the newspaper. Then they would ma mail an application through the USA, to, to the, I mean, sorry, to the US Postal Services. Now call a snail mail by some. Finally, is some. Is, finally, is someone was lucky enough to get the interview. The person would go to the job site. Today, people can find notice for jobs online and then submit their application over the internet. The employer can even interview them over the internet using programs such, such as Skype. They provide voice over and video over calls. This change saves time for both the employer and the applicant. Okay, so according to this, what did we, what did we used to do when we wanted to apply for a job? We used to go and apply you either implied in person or in person we or to. you mailed the application right oh, we mailed, uh, never mailed application <laughs> right you either applied in person at the at the store or you mailed the application to the place right mm -hmm. or mailed a letter mm -hmm. saying you were interested okay. in the job right okay and now what what do people do now we apply for for the internet yeah, we apply online. Sometimes we interview online, and we do everything online nowadays, right? The only so, thing I don't like is the interview online. <laughs> the interview online. It's very nerve-wracking, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, like, you like to talk to people in person, right? I do. I do. I like to talk to people, and then they, that way they can see, you know, you can do, I mean, you yeah, can the, talk. You, you, you can get a better, better feeling for a person. Yes. When when you're when you're online, you can't get a good feeling for them. No, mm. it's All everything right. fake. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, okay. All right, next paragraph, or actually the last last two parts. Who wants to read this last part here? One more volunteer. Okay, okay. I do it. Okay, go I do for it. it. Okay, another example of the impact of technology is how people pay for goods and services. Until the mid 1940s, people had to carry large amounts of cash in their purses and wallets. Then one day in 1949, a man named uh, Frank McNamara uh, took some business associates to, din to dinner, but he left his wallet at home. He had to call his wife to bring him money to pay the bill. Mr. McNamara bought to find a way to avoid carrying cash. Although some stores already had their own church cards, 
there was no single multi I'm sorry, multi purpose credit card. Uh, a year later, he returned to the same restaurant with the same people, but paid with the credit card he had created called Dinner's Club. Today, people don't even need to carry a credit card, they can pay with their smartphones. And in what other ways to do? I'm sorry, ways you do you think technology may change people's lives in the future? Okay, good. And, here, and here's the last way that technology has changed. What 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 is this example? How how people pay, right? Oh yes. Yes, how people pay. And in the old days, how did you pay? Cash. Cash. Everything was cash, right? Cash, cash. for everything. Right, mm -hmm. but now, now what do we have? Credit cards. Credit cards. <laughs> and it's more. Well, you I'm have asking. the credit cards in the on yeah, the yeah, that's market. right. Right now, now you can do it by the the phone app, right? Uh, yeah, I have. I've never yes. done that. I've never had a phone app for a like they have like Google Pay or Apple, Apple Pay. Pay. Yeah, I've I've never used it. Has anybody done that? Yeah. You pay with your phone. Yeah, I use it. You use it sometimes. Yeah. Is it easy? Yeah, really easy. Okay. You, you just give your bank account information to Apple. Is that how it works? Yeah, just just the, the, the card number and that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, maybe I'll have to try. It's just like shopping on Amazon. I yeah, think, it's right? really easy. Okay. The, you, you put the, the cell phone in the, in the thing and, uh, and then boom, you're done. It's a clink, clink. And okay. That's, it. That's, that's all it takes, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, clean, clean to clean your bank account. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They make it easier and easier to spend money, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can answer these questions up at the top here, and then that'll be all for tonight. Okay. All right. So let's review. What four areas does the author provide about how technology has changed? People's lives. What were the four areas? Transportation, transportation, transportation media, 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 and jobs, job, and inter job interviews, and payments. Interviews right. Payments. All right. What statistics does the article give to support the statement that the number of people who get their news through the newspaper has declined? What was his statistics about the newspaper? Do you remember? Seventy-two percent. In in the past, seventy-two percent, and now. Um. Or in 2006, or whatever it was, 50 percent, 50 percent, and now, and now it's probably I don't know, 20 percent, maybe, maybe 20 yeah, percent, maybe 20 percent. Yeah, yeah. nobody uh, reads the newspaper anymore, right? No. All right. The next one says number three. According to the author, nearly everyone had a radio. Was that a fact or an opinion? Let's look very closely at what he says. Let me show you very closely. You see what he says about radios? He says, he says here, I suppose nearly everyone had a radio. Is that a fact or an opinion? An opinion. Yeah. Opinion, because he says, I suppose, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any statistics or any facts he's just mm -hmm. he's just he says ah, i suppose so i don't know exactly but i suppose mm -hmm. right so that's an opinion good all right back to this page what does it say here it says next one it says sometimes the text provides you examples to understand the meaning of the words what examples does it give for media what were the examples for media like newspapers Newspapers, radio, 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 TV, TV, right. And what mm -hmm. was the examples for transportation? Um, trains, cars, trains, trains, trains cars, cars, airplanes, airplanes. Airplane. right. Very good. The article says some people refer to the postal service as snail mail. Does everyone know what a snail is? Yep. Yeah. Un caracol. What, what do you call it? Caracol. Caracol, caracol. 
All right. Yes. They want is this, this too slow, so too they slow. they both they both slow. slow. They're, they're both, both very slow. slow. Exactly. Mm. They're both very slow. Okay. Oh, there's Julio coming back. All right. And finally, do you think the author believes the changes are positive or negative? Positive. Positive, right? Almost everything he said was positive, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't. He, but there, there are negative parts to technology, but he didn't mention that, right? Only if, if you if you ask the is our uh, Mr. Mr. Chang. Mr. Mr. Chung, Chung. Yeah, if Mr. Chung wrote the article, he would he would have a different story to tell for sure. He, he likes the snail mail. Okay. All right. Right. All right. Good. All right. So, um, let me see. Uh, that's that's it for this week. Uh, re remember, I want you to try to finish the testing. If you if you want to do the testing, you don't have to. But if you want to do the testing, try to finish by Monday. You could do Teacher, it yes. I did it. I did one test last night about seventy questions. Mm -hmm. And then I have the. Uh, did you do the other one already? And then then I did another one, the thirty questions. That's right. That's all. One hundred. Okay, yeah, you're One seventy and one thirty. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right so you're you're done if you got 100 questions that's it okay yeah so but can you check my score I'll, <laughs> when you I'll, have time? I'll, I'll double check it yeah yeah i'll talk to you all about the scores on on monday Thank uh, you, and, and david you're having a problem right yes teacher i will try tomorrow all right, well, today let, let, it was a short time to do it so okay. let me right, start. Let, let, let me see what i can figure out for tonight okay all right, and, okay. and anybody else having a problem or everybody else okay? Everybody else know. okay? Good. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Good. So that's it for tonight. I'll talk to you all on Monday and then I'll, te I'll text you tomorrow and, and, and if you let you know that I'm going to be around and if you have any questions, please ask me that I do want you to make sure that you can get the test taken if you want to. Okay. Okay, you. okay. Then I'll see okay. everybody else on Monday. Okay. Thank have you. a All nice right. weekend, Good guys. Luck. Have okay. a nice weekend. Good luck okay. on the test. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.